Hello and welcome in. I am Miss Kinghorn and we are back here in The Sims 4 creating another speedboat and this time we are in Brindleton Bay and we're actually up in the uh, stable uh, square which is the top left neighbourhood in Brindleton Bay and working on a 30 by 20 lot so it's not overly big but and it, it did actually prove a bit of a challenge but I actually really really like how this turned out um, I'm definitely feeling like the autumn-y kind of vibes right now very sort of cosy weather slightly changed here it's a little bit cooler uh, leaves are falling off the trees already it's it's definitely autumn here in the UK at the moment or at least where I am um, so yeah this is a gorgeous little build uh, it's only a two bedroom one bathroom but like half of it is taken of this building is taken up by the front garden um so i had a reference image that i was kind of working on and it was of a kind of a rustic kind of cottage um i think it's an american build i'm not 100 percent sure on that but that's kind of the impression that i was getting with um this sort of like lots of trees lots of bushes along the front um, kind of really nice gorgeous um, sort of entranceway and path leading up to the house I would imagine with something like this that they would have like sort of a garage out the back or on the side or something like that I couldn't see anything from the image but you never know um, I was doing what I can uh, with only the one image that I could really find of this build which is a little bit of an odd one but you know, it is what it is, and uh, yeah, I have turned this into a gorgeous two-bedroom family home. It's, I mean, it's not the biggest, um, and it did definitely prove to be challenging. Um, and you'll sort of see, I'm going to start my struggles right here with the roof. Um, this was a little bit of an interesting one. So, yes, we have the front porch that um we kind of i think it's probably more traditional for like an american sort of home like this it just proved to be really difficult to kind of get the whole roof in it's not the biggest build it's not even um it's kind of a little bit all over the place at times and i i struggled as a result of that um but yeah, I done what I possibly could to try and get this to work in here. And you'll sort of see, I play around with the roof. I add bits um, onto rooms. I end up taking these off and it goes backwards and forwards. But eventually we get to something that I think works in here Ooh, quite well. Um, so yes. Now we do actually have an office downstairs. So you could turn this into a three bedroom home if you wanted to. There is only one bathroom and that is upstairs. But uh, yeah, the family I had in mind for this are um, obviously two parents and then a little girl um, as like a kid and then also a cat. So there are cat toys, there are tree cat trees and things like that around the place as well. But yeah, that's what I um, wanted to do. Now this took a little bit of a while because I... I don't know I struggled with this I feel like because I was such in a kind of an autumn kind of mood and I was like right I'm just gonna do something I had a look for all the way through all of my pores and do you think I could find anything that's like that screams autumn no so i um, in the end I kind of had to do one I think it was like sort of more spring like they had like cherry blossom on the trees and it was kind of a little bit like that rather than kind of the autumny kind of red kind of trees that we ended up placing um, for this one but I felt like I needed something and I placed I actually built the exterior of a whole other house I spent over an hour building it all up doing all of the exterior and then I realized I couldn't do the floor plan so yeah, um, there is a whole other house ready. I may come out later. I might have to have a little bit of a play around with it to sort of see where I can get it in, if it will work, or if I need to kind of completely 
destroy it to kind of make it work but you will sort of see in here so for this I wanted a kind of a black and white um, kind of feel so we have lots of um, sort of black windows black shutters um, you can see here I'm putting in some black drain pipes um, because obviously autumn also gets a little bit wet um, although this year it's been raining pretty much all year <laughs> here in the UK we've had a very very wet year um, so yes but we've got some little flower boxes going in lots of sort of little sort of details coming in around this house and we are placing in here some sort of barrel or half barrel um, plant pots at the front here now obviously I do have a family on this lot which is something I don't tend to do um, but I wanted the seasons and I wanted all of this to all work so you can sort of see there's the family at the front there <laughs> just buying their time um, and so yes all of the plants are in their sort of autumn colours and things like that so it looks a little bit more in keeping with uh, what I wanted to go in here so we've got quite a simple front, uh, front porch um, kind of got a little bench out here a couple of lights around the front door as well obviously my little doorbell um, it is technically a light um, that we have in game but I just sort of scale it down and place it there and it looks like a little doorbell and then a some sort of garbage rubbish um, sort of area on the other side and a big plant as well now goes in there so we've now moved into the front sort of entrance hall in here it's very simple very basic it's quite a small space so I didn't want to over kind of clutter it too much um, obviously we have the stairs that take up quite a bit of space but I just wanted a few little knickknacks here and there just to make it feel like a really nice sort of lived in sort of home as well so a nice mirror kind of piece there to put your post in things like that and also the shopping bags in here but now we're moving into the living room um i do go through here and actually place all of the light switches and also all of the radiators around the place so every room has got um radiators probably if anything too many radiators in this house but you know it's cold <laughs> why not in here and we get in the big fireplace in here now i didn't really have a fireplace that i could use that's with the red brick this one the red brick is quite dark um so i sort of struggled we ended up going for this sort of gray version on here but i've ended up placing the television on the mantelpiece above the fireplace which i thought was a really nice little touch it may be a little bit too high and strain your neck but you know this is the sims so who cares um <laughs> now i wanted this to be really nice and warm and cozy and sort of soft like color wise um i went through a lot of sofas you'll notice that here i i went through quite a few and ended up going for this sort of like brown sort of leather sofa which i thought worked really nicely in here it works in with the rug that we've got here too and obviously the cottage living um floral kind of wallpaper i thought was perfect for this build in here and uh yeah just a few bits of pieces of furniture coming through and then we get out a little bit of sort of clutter here and there but uh yeah i can't wait until we get the um new kits they are looking gorgeous um i have seen the little leaks um but then they also released the sort of trailers for them and uh yeah i'm looking forward to building some more sort of nurseries and some art studios and stuff I, I tend to do art studios quite a lot and they're always a little bit the same so having new stuff for them is always going to be a good thing and then a nursery i'm not sure what items are going to come with that i've seen a few pieces and decorations and like the screenshots that they kind of release i'm not sure it's kind of going to be my thing I, I don't know i feel like it's very kind of victorian and very old which obviously i love but i'm not sure if it's going to work in like many homes i feel like it might be a little bit too stylized if that's the right way to put it i don't know let me know what do you think of the new kit and even the new expansion pack but we have moved out of the living space and moved into the dining room in here and now you do see i have placed in the sort of cardboard doll's house in here 
and also the sort of cross stitch box that we got as well I just thought they were a nice little touch in there because the bedroom is I think mean, it's not a small bedroom it's an odd shaped kids bedroom so it can be a little bit of a funky one to kind of uh, decorate and try and get furniture in and kind of have enough room to kind of um, work around that so I thought the bigger pieces we might put downstairs and then I wanted somewhere for maybe the parents um, to kind of relax as well at the end of the day and have a few bits for them and so it's not quite so kid friendly now you can sort of see here in the back corner I have done the back garden it is a very small you are literally seeing like everything there there is a small picnic table out there and there is also a grill so they can sort of barbecue things up if you wanted to and then there is the monkey bars I thought they were a nice touch I tried to get the swings in but as I say it is very small and there is not a lot of space but yeah I um I really like how this kind of all turned out with sort of the rustic kind of wood everywhere in slightly different colors so obviously inside we've kind of gone for the brown kind of um, dark wooden flooring and then on the outside we've kind of gone for quite a white kind of like a, it's almost white on white but different sort of shingles and then the wood panelling and things like that in there and then obviously with a little hints of brick to come through but that sort of fireplace in the main um, living space is kind of a nice gorgeous touch like I could just imagine sitting on the sofa blanket on fire roaring reading a book just yeah that is where you'll find me see so, yeah, I actually went for a modern kitchen in here I feel like a kitchen is always the first place that you kind of modernize whenever you move into a place so I feel like maybe they've moved in a couple of years ago they've saved up enough money they've done the kitchen or maybe they're like saving up a little bit more to do other rooms or maybe it was already done I don't know I could have gone for something a little bit more rustic but I decided to go for a quite modern piece in here and uh, for this sort of kitchen dining space in here I could have cut this in half and had a separate kind of dining space but I felt like it was a little bit more sort of cut, sort of cosy and a little bit more sort of realistic for the size of this property to have a sort of lit, um, kitchen sort of diner in here. And I, I had the space to do it all in one. I don't know whether I had really enough space to make them two separate rooms. I hope that kind of makes any sense to anyone. It feels like it's too big to be one room but too small to be two rooms. I thought that's probably a better way of explaining it but we do have a four seater table in here obviously there is three sims um, in this home um, at least in my head maybe you have a fourth I don't know let me know um, how you would sort of want to play with it if you have any kind of families in mind for any of my builds or if you want me to build for a particular family of yours do let me know in the comments I may do it I may not no guarantees but uh, this here is the home office, so I wanted a nice sort of backdrop on here. I kind of had in my head that they were maybe somebody who either worked from home or was like self-employed and kind of worked from home that way. So in my head, the um, woman from this household was a author and we use a lot of the book nook kit in here. As you can see, I have just filtered by that pack and... Um, yeah we have lots of sort of books everywhere and lots of sort of nice sort of cozy kind of office space where i feel like they would just spend all day typing away on their sort of manuscripts writing the latest blockbuster or latest best-selling novel or something like that and yeah it's kind of a really nice sort of cozy space so you've kind of got this bay window at the front here which did prove to be a little bit of a challenge to kind of get anything in and also curtains were a bit of a pain in here you'll sort of see as I get to those later on but I've got the two uh, sort of bookshelves here on either side of this sort of centerpiece and I've left this open and I've left it kind of bare so you have this kind of feature wall behind the desk so if you're doing like web calls or like a zoom meeting or something like that you have got that backdrop which I thought was a really nice simple little touch in here and then some nice soft sort of rugs in that kind of neutral kind of warm sort of tones that sort of 
beige and cream kind of colours in here but I do also add in a sort of pink sofa over here as well which I thought was a nice little touch something a little bit different in there for them and you can see here I end up using the curtains from the Lux kit that basically was because no others would really work in here but now we have jumped upstairs to the main bedroom and yeah this is where I tell you it gets a little bit odd in the floor plan because <laughs> this is a, a weird little space um it's yeah kind of has this little pop out along the back i couldn't really find anything else to do with this space so when i was doing it i was like well i might as well just leave it in to the sort of main bedroom we can have like a little corner over there some wardrobes in it uh kind of make it a little bit kind of like a little walk-in sort of wardrobe kind of closet space in here whilst it's still being part of the actual main bedroom but again we've kind of got these nice cream kind of curtains everywhere we've gone for this soft sort of blue bed with nice little floors i think it's a nice little tie to what we've got downstairs in here as well and then we've just placed a few little artwork pieces and also that drop sort of light i did think about placing those on either side of the bed and having them as kind of like a bedside light I I think they were a little bit too modern for what I was really going for in here so I decided to just move that over to where the sort of wardrobes were in here and uh, yeah gone for a nice sort of blue kind of wallpaper in here with also a kind of a wood trim that is very much the same as all of the other wood trim in here so as I say it's white really on the outside of this kind of build in terms of the wood texture and then coming in we have these sort of darker brown spaces in here and I do also have the cat tree at the top of the stairs there was kind of like a little one by one nook I didn't really know what to do with it, so I thought I'll put a small little cat tree kind of in there and I do also place a cat bed downstairs in the living room so that they do have a bed because I, th I think um, let me know if I'm wrong with my thinking of this they also need to have an actual bed otherwise they're not happy um, cats or dogs they actually have to have a pet bed and a cat tree doesn't count as a bed I, some, if there was something like that I don't know whether that was just a bug or whether it's just me randomly making things up let me know but uh, yeah and we also have some toys downstairs for them as well but this here is the kids bedroom so i thought um i haven't done kind of a no sort of a more neutral kind of bedroom for a while so i've kind of got green i don't really see sure if that is a neutral kind of color scheme but we've gone for a really bright kind of green look in here so using the sort of wallpaper and also this wallpaper sort of scale kind of hexagon wallpaper I absolutely love I don't think I've really used it that much it's kind of again one of those sort of niche pieces that I feel like you kind of can use in very few places but I felt like here it really worked and also the floral kind of grass rug works in here really really well and then I placed this Jaguar piece <laughs> this artwork piece from the new love struck I absolutely love it again it's something that i think i can use here i'm not sure where else i would really get it in but yeah it kind of fitted into that kind of like green sort of vibe that i was going for in here and then the soft kind of wood kind of furniture so the bed the dress um the dresser here the desk all of that all kind of ties in together in here now i wasn't really sure it was really only at this point that i was like do i go for a kid do i go teen what do I kind of do? And I went more for a kid look. It maybe is a little bit more teen. So it might be like somewhere in between the two. But yeah, that's kind of where I ended up in here. We've kind of got a few little kids toys here and there. But maybe they are slightly edging up to being a teenager. But yeah, that's why I kind of am with the rest of this little family. And what I had in my mind for this a few little bits of clutter kind of getting some backpacks and food and stuff in here and now we're on to the bathroom i don't normally show you the bathroom but uh yeah this build actually was quite quick to do once i kind of got in that vibe and that sort of cozy kind of and i knew what i was going to build 
Um, oh, I ended up doing this pretty quickly in here. So obviously we need a litter tray. And um, the only sort of logical place really to put it is either in a kitchen or in this bathroom. The kitchen didn't feel very sanitary to me. So I ended up kind of placing it up here. And this bathroom is a little bit of an odd shape and size. But anyway, we've got that in. We're coming up to the end of this video, so if you have enjoyed it, then please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can also download this from The Sims Gallery as well. But I will be back next week with another build. But until then, stay happy and stay healthy. Bye everyone!